I'm Lavinia Xausa, I'm a visual artist and a documentary maker and I'm part of the program of the Hamburger Community of Art. As I spent my entire Italian childhood surrounded by churches, my practice is pretty much influenced by Christian culture. I try to uh, portray the subjects in a very fair way as if they were sort of everlasting sacred icons. What I try to create with my work are pictures, moving images, performances, also written text. Most of the time I, my, my practice ends up with a film, but then the film becomes a sort of occasion to, to, yeah, to create a discussion around it. I started a research about the sense of uh, unity and belonging uh, within groups with a strong identity. I started my process in a very wide research about cult, populism, football supports and how they relate to each other. I was trying to play uh, between the beauty of uh, a symbol, and this majesty of the flag, against the fact that it's also scary and it also represents a sort of danger, a sort of there is something uh, shady about it. So this year I'm undertaking this project uh, Truly Madrid Deeply. As a documentarist, I'm really attracted to get to know something that is kind of far away from me. I decided indeed to start this project about Feyenoord because it was complete, something completely outside my everyday life. During the, the lockdown, somehow it also amplified this sense of finding direction inside a group and believing in something. I think these sort of communities are a bit replacing the role of religion in the past. I'm really curious to see why, why people are falling for that and what are the, the needs and the uh, the call behind and, and I do think that opening up a dialogue with this type of subject would also make us understand what, what, what's happening in a, in a bigger scale. Around my idea there is a group of uh, people, of programmers that are uh, developing a parallel uh, program in Rotkafe and these are the residents of the Hamburger Community of Life. For the time being, we ended up with a podcast about football support identity and race and inclusivity in the football world. But at the same time, we had this crazy podcast about a Gabber opera. And um, we'll have a workshop about how to turn stadium chants into Gabber techno music. Parallelly to that, I'm continuing my research and I'm thinking to develop a film. It will become a film that tries to play with the difference with, between monophonic uh, stadium chants to the idea of embracing diversity and uh, multiculturalism. So I'm collaborating with a composer to turn stadium chants into a beautiful polyphony. For me, important questions about my work and how to portray the subject in a way that they want to be represented. And therefore, the process is really based on proposing and questioning my assumption. So how do I get familiar with something unfamiliar? So how do I get in contact? How do I create a relationship? Uh, how do we create a, a language to understand each other? The first time I was emotionally in connection with Feyenoord, it was when they drastically broke a fountain in the center of Rome. <laughs> Starting from this a bit disappointment, triggered the research towards, okay, let's actually open up and uh, see what happened there. And in order to also discover that not everybody is a hooligan. I do believe that uh, Feyenoord uh, is an interesting universe to analyze because analyzing a stadium, you analyze a mirror pointed to the city. And I do think that Feyenoord somehow uh, holds the spirit of our city. Initiating a dialogue about the identity of the group of supporters 
initiate a dialogue also about the city and society in general. The beauty of Feyenoord is also this underdog attitude that the sense of unity and togetherness of doing so, it's also a very strong uh, uh, point of bonding for these people. Being proud of, of, of being part of a city that is in the making, that's what I find fascinating about this relationship.